The news of earlier this week for the Panthers, and it is a bye week, is, or was, I should say, it was, that Frank Reich was given up play calling, Thomas Brown was taken over. By changing play callers, this is an action admitting that the offense hasn't been utilized in the best way. Now, even if the plan, because that's what I keep hearing, right? The plan all along was for Thomas Brown to take over. They've known for weeks. First of all, I do not believe there was a chan- a snowball's chance in the hot place if uh, that, that the plan was to do it before the offseason, right? The, there's no way they came into the season with, if everything goes to plan about midseason, we're going to be changing play callers on everybody just to shake it up. Like, that's that's not how it was. But even if we believe that conceit, right? Even if we believe the conceit that it always was the plan, you would have changed the plan if you thought Frank Reich had a complete grasp of the offense, if you thought he was utilizing everyone in the best way possible. You would have said, well, the plan was to get Thomas Brown reps as a play caller, but Frank's in such a groove that we're not going to change it. I've heard uh, uh, that justification by quarterbacks coaches, right? Some quarterbacks coaches believe very much in like a particular form, right? High elbow, uh, step here, turn here, right? When you're working on form, every once in a while, someone like Phillip Rivers shows up. Right, and he's throwing in. He's throwing like he's like he's holding a trait of uh, tray, you know, like a waiter, right? And he's walking out there and he's slinging it sidearm. You know what the the quarterbacks coach says? Well, if I was working with you when you were like nine years old, I might change it. But you're throwing it so darn well. Yeah, I'm not changing a darn thing. I thought you was shot putting out there. So yeah, but you know what? It's accurate. It's a spiral. It's coming in with heat. I'm not touching it. If Frank Reich was out there and the offense was accurate with a spiral and it was coming in with heat. They wouldn't have touched it, but they did. They changed it, right? Meanwhile, if you come in with a, a quarterback that has a strong arm but can't control it, it's all over the place, and, and you're like, you know what? I think we should rebuild this form. You change it. That's what the offense was. It's like, all right, well, let's, let's change it. So the fact that Thomas Brown is taking over is an admittance from the Panthers that the offense has not been utilized in the best way. That means there are players, there are skill position players on the Panthers that have been misused. Right? They have not been used in the way that will get the most out of their talents. Because if they were, you wouldn't have changed. So who's the best candidate to have the biggest gap between where they've been and their ceiling. Who's being used the most, who up till this point, has been used the most incorrectly? The candidates? Everyone other than Adam Thielen. Yeah. Right? I mean, the candidates are, I don't know if you can squeeze any more production out of Adam Thielen. Other than that, I think everybody is a candidate for like, oh, we have not been using him the right way. Mm-hmm. And, 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 Again, not to say uh, I don't. I'm not here to just bash Frank Reich, right? Uh, like uh, DeAndre Swift is a good example. The Lions have a good offense. They were not using DeAndre Swift to the best of his abilities. Do you know how I know that? He's now on Philly, being much more productive. So he like the the looking at the Panthers. Is it DJ Chark? Is it Miles Sanders? Is it is it Hubbard? Chuba, Chuba Hubbard? Is it Hayden Hurst? Is it Jonathan Mingo? Is it Lavisca Chenault? Is it some form of all of them? I would say it's probably some form of all of them, but let's try to pick one who's the most. Usually, the position decide the position coach decides who's in the game, right? Because my first instinct was uh, Hubbard, and I was like, he just needs to be in more. That's usually usually the play caller has enough on their plate for the forty seconds between plays to be thinking, hey, can we get can we get Hubbard in the game? Is he ready? Right, so the the running backs coach is usually handling those rotations. So, I think Hubbard should be in the game more, even when Miles Sanders is healthy. But but that'll likely be a Deuce Staley decision, and he's still the running backs coach, so nothing's changing there. So if the the rotation has been misused, I don't think that's going to change with the play caller. So it's not Hubbard. Lavisca Chenault was one that jumped to the the straight of my uh, top of my list because he's one that's difficult to use. Right, he's that Debo Samuel position. That Percy Harvin position. Air quotes. Around. That Cordero Patterson position, right? That, sure, he might wear a wide receiver number, but he might be a running back, but he might be a, a fast punt returner that we use on offense, but he might be built like a like a track athlete. Like, it's just, where does he fit in? We, we're not sure what to do with him, guy. 
So I was like, you know what? He's probably the easiest to misuse, but now he's out with a, a high ankle sprain for who knows how long. So if he was being misused, Thomas Brown won't be using him better because he's going to be limping on the sideline. I think the answer is Hayden Hurst. Okay. I think Hayden Hurst is the guy that we could see the biggest delta between where he was and where he will be moving forward. And I think part of that is because they've kind of been asking Adam Thielen to do everything. And I want to take part of what they've been asking Adam Thielen to do and give it to Hayden Hurst, which will free up Adam Thielen to do other stuff. Uh, That safety blanket role. We hear about rookie quarterbacks need their safety blanket, right? Rookie quarterbacks are like pig pen from peanuts. They need their blanket. They need to be walking around. They need to be uh, – it's not pig pen. It's, it's uh, Linus, Linus. Sorry. Pig pen's the one who has the, the dust following yeah. him everywhere. Uh, it's, they're, they're like Linus from peanuts. Hopefully, your holder's not like Lucy from peanuts. Nah. But, but what I mean by the, the rookie quarterbacks always need their safety blanket is they always need somebody like – finding a hole in the defense five yards in front of them, right? You're, you're five yards and, and option route. They've been asking Adam Thielen to do a lot of that. Mm-hmm. I think they, they should be using – he's Hayden Hurst is capable of that, which would then allow Adam Thielen to be a guy going outside the numbers, going on those big arcing cross routes he likes, going on a, a few more dynamic routes that he can be available for, for Bryce Young there. So if you teach Bryce Young – if you show Bryce Young, if you give reps to Bryce Young that says Hayden Hurst can be your guy that when when Bleep hits the fan, you find him for four yards on third and three, you already know Bryce Young trusts Adam Thielen, which, all right, let's get the throws to Adam Thielen that you need to explicitly trust the guy. All right, let's get the plays where it's like, hey, I'm going to give you a chance on this ball. If if it's not there, I need you to break it up like a defensive back to make sure I don't throw an interception. I'm going to trust you. Let's get Adam Thielen on some more of the high risk stuff where trust is more necessity, more of a necessity. Let's get Hayden Hurst, who's more than capable of handling the dirty work, get caught while being speared in the back by a linebacker for five yards plays. Mm-hmm. Like, like let's let's use a tight end for what a tight end should be so Adam Thielen doesn't have to be the tight end on first and second down and the big play wide receiver on third down. Free Adam Thielen up, which, again, you, you, you see this at every level, right? When you get one thing cranking, it allows something else to crank at a better level. It allows something else to – using Hayden Hurst as that guy – could open up the deep passing game. It could open up the run game. It could open up so much more, and that's the kind of uh, um, that's the reason why you make a play calling change, right? Like the play caller is not going to make Adam Thielen run a four four. No, the play caller is not going to make Lavisca Chenault healthy. The play caller is not going to make Jonathan Mingo a five year veteran. You wish he could, but it's not going to happen. However. If the play caller can simply make Hayden Hurst take that 30% of Adam Thielen's role and 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 handle that, that could open up Adam Thielen to bring a new element, which could open up, uh, you know, make the safety pay more attention to Adam Thielen, which allows Jonathan Mingo to not need to be a five-year veteran. He can just be a fast rookie and 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 catch a couple deep balls there. And then as soon as everyone's loosening up, the running game's going. And now the play caller actually made a difference. And yes, the the offensive line has to block better. I will say one thing on this. The change in coordinator or change of play caller, Mm -hmm. I should say, tells me that they've misused one person, Bryce Young. Because if they weren't misusing Bryce Young... Because everything's about Bryce Young. Because everything's about Bryce. If, If he was doing everything that he was capable or is capable of doing, then everything else would take care of itself. I'll agree with that. They've misused Bryce. I'll put it in this way. If... Every game, Bryce Young was making leaps and bounds. Yeah. Just improvements, mm-hmm. better. Even if the offense wasn't scoring a ton of points, if just Bryce Young individually was, you know, first game graded out as a C-, minus, next is a B, next is a B+, plus, next is an A. If he was just making huge improvements, you wouldn't mess with that. Right? Even if the offense was suffering a little bit, you'd go, ah, I'm not messing. Like, as long mm-hmm. as he's – this whole season's about him, as long as he's getting better. So I'll agree with that, too. I, I'm just not sure if there is a um, 
I'm not sure if there's a direct path yeah. from from uh, you know where they were to him playing a lot better. Well, yeah, there's that. But- although, although, again, if Hayden Hurst is, is working better, I'm thinking, like it, I do think it could all lead back to Bryce Young, even if he's not playing better, looking like he's playing better, and thus the reputation goes higher. Yeah, no more no more check downs to wide receiver screens, please. And thank you. <laughs>